What's up? Welcome to a quick new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do this quick and easy, underrated but very effective flash transition. Actually, I'm going to show you two ways. So let's jump right in. So I'm in this project right here. This is my latest music video and here you can see both transitions in action. First this one and then this one. Now we're going to start with this one, which is just the brightness actually. So let's do it from scratch and delete this adjustment layer. And the first thing we have to do is of course, take a new adjustment layer and put it on top of our two clips that we want to transition. We are building this transition on an adjustment layer so that we can use it several times in the music video. And it's also a little bit easier because otherwise you would have to do the adjustments on the first clip and then on the second clip. And then if you change something in the edit, it just messes everything up. So this is the easier way to do it with an adjustment layer. Since there's normally no adjustment layer in Final Cut, you can find it down a link down below in the description. So what do we have to do for this transition? We're going to go in between our clips where we want to transition and then go about one two frames backwards so it's already perfect and then go back to the cut and go about like one two three four frames forward however long you want your transition to be but i'd advise you to do it quickly and then trim the adjustment layer to your desired length so now we want to brighten up the image and it should be the brightest at the middle part where your cut is so let's click on the adjustment layer then go up here to the color inspector click on it and then go to color adjustments and now brighten up the image to your liking i'd say a little bit of the exposure so maybe about 20 and brighten up the brightness a little bit to about 40 that should give you great results but again you could also change it up make it more bright make it less bright and do it however you like and stylize your effect depending on your project and desired outcome so let's go back to 20 and 40 and then the important thing is to set a keyframe right here now go about one frame backwards and then maybe change it to for example 10 right here and 5 right here so that we have a subtle change in the brightness and kind of an easy ease in. Now we go to the first frame of the adjustment layer and set everything to zero. Of course, the keyframes are set automatically because we set it one time. Now go back to the middle part and then skip forward one frame, click on the adjustment layer and go to your color inspector. And here I like to do maybe half of all the settings. So maybe 10 right here and 20 right here and then skip forward one more frame. And here we could again drag it out longer. So maybe do 10 right here and five right here or just go back down to zero immediately. Because again, I'd advise you to do this transition very quickly, just a few frames, three to four frames in total to give you this result. Very subtle, but makes all the difference. And now for the other flash transition, this one is done with blending modes. So let's delete this one. And how are we gonna transition from this low shutter to the real-time speed motion? We're gonna select the first clip hit the options key and drag it upwards to duplicate it. You could also do this with the other clip, but I'm gonna show you in a second. Then put your cursor to the cut, click on it and skip one frame forwards. Now make the upper clip one frame longer and trim the entire back rest of the clip so that we only have one more frame of the other clip above the next clip we wanna transition into. And now just put your cursor to right here, click on the upper clip and then go to your normal video inspector, blend mode and click on add. And there you have it, a mixture between the different clips. If it's too similar or bright for you or whatever, you could also change it up by changing the scale. Maybe put it right here, click on done. And then once you play it back, it's a transition like this. Again, you could also just leave it at the normal scaling and it's still a very nice transition. But again, you could have also done this with this clip or even combine the two. So hit option and duplicate it and then make it one frame longer, but backwards and trim the front part and then go to here and set the blending mode to add and then you have a transition like this or again just delete this one and you have to transition the other way around works both ways and that's how you can do this quick and easy flash transition that works great and for example music videos you can do it in final cut or any other editing software if you want to watch the final music video where it's used you can do that by clicking right here here's the final cut playlist here you can subscribe and i will hopefully see you in the next one goodbye